Hi, uh, today I will try to explain how to use uh, Google Charts with ASP.NET MVC5. Uh, you can find online too many ways, but uh, they are not useful or sometimes they are code not working fine. So what uh, uh, what I need to explain today, uh, I will try to start with the pie chart, uh, this one from Google, I will try to use it on my uh, project there is two ways I will explain how to use how you to use it inside uh, ASP so let's start with explain a little bit about Google chart uh, it's easy way to use them better than use that uh, from Microsoft chart this one more flexible and as you see it's uh, better look better so let's underst understand this what what they need uh, Google chart to working in uh, ASP first of all let's copy this code from uh, a chart pie or pie chart and use it in my subplan just we need to understand how this code is working oh. See, it's working fine. Just we copy that code from Google and put it here. So let's try to see here what 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 they write here. It's all of this. Uh, this first one, they implement uh, Google library. After uh, after that, loading. No need here. Here, what we need? This important things. This one. This address. Address. This one should send it to you from your code uh, in ASP how to send like this uh, how to send it from uh, ASP this is what we'll talk about it today okay let's go to our code in ASP so let's go to our controller I already I had my controller uh, it's easy easy no problem uh, first of all I get my data from SQL Server you can do any way you like just need it as a list after that I took how many record in my list I put it in an uh, object new object as I implemented as object after that I put all of them all that that I get it in my result here I put them where in my object because I create first first here I create this object uh, after that here we convert our object to Johnson after that here this this way here first way we are using or we are sending uh, our data uh, to our razor co code here uh, in view bag that's our first code just we send it as a view uh, in the view bag we back here to our code see here view bag data j we back here to our code here when we receive our code here we put our uh, view bag data var temp1 after that we pass it into Johnson uh, we go to our code same as I told you where we need to change here just we need to put that rows here no more changing look this one here here this this row here we remove that one and we put our data a uh, data SS this one after we pass it in Johnson it's easy way but uh, I don't like it why cause it's using view bag sometime when view bag no one no one prefer to use it when you refresh your page you lose all your data it's just for short time so uh, this one here after we our uh, page it's get chart if we refresh it like this it's easy nothing you can check your code if you have any error here uh, nothing just this one no problem from, from jQuery uh, second way I prefer to use second way easy not easy it's, but it's better than this way it's because using Ajax let's go down to our code same code nothing different 
just how to send the rows to your uh, HTML page so here same I get my data so let's see just our data there I explain about the data but no one knows how is the data oh, my data is just category name and how many times link it to any post it, I call it frequency here we say we put all of them in this result of that we create same our uh, new object here this one uh, if you remember in last code we need head uh, for uh, our data and last one look here this is different between this code and this code here there is nothing there is nothing no head or I I disabled here I just uncomment commented this one if you back here to my code you found it here in this code here this one I will see what's the difference between this way and that way there and again back to our code uh, where is it? Ah, here. So this code is Johnson result, not same that one action result. Here, back down again. Uh, this our data from SQL Server. This my uh, chart data, my object. How many they will be? It's uh, matrix. I put the head and I start with zero. First row it will be the head for uh, this uh, matrix uh, for that I, I use for each to put all result in this matrix all result uh, coming from my SQL I put it I make my the matrix in this one here here I return it again same a Johnson a Johnson uh, string I don't need to convert it uh, in my HTML look here they said you need here in this one uh, build art they said you need object and this one don't care about it here just what you need always you need to send it as an object after convert it if we back to this code here like an index page mm, same library here nothing different uh, back down again uh, declare here chart data and here what what's the important uh, important things how to get my data from my uh, method there this one will call it it's easy this one calls it ajax i give the url to my uh, controller or my json result here uh, we'll load my data as a json post this one it's okay no problem here when they succeed this function i will receive my data and put it in chart data uh, if not succeed will give you error after that I will send my da uh, uh, chart data where is it this don't care about it, the same function mm, the chart data just I will load it to my row as you see here that different again it's simple different here between this one and old one here I create my new Google virtual virtualization table and I put my uh, first column head here and after that I put my data row and this one I created already in my uh, C# -sharp code and send it to this virtualization direct no need to any change this one options just to put a head uh, or title uh, for your uh, uh, pie chart uh, this one all of them easy how do you, how do you, how you can send it to pie chart from here uh, let's go to back to my code where is it here this one same nothing change nothing different but I think this this second way it's better than first way how to use it uh, I don't like to, uh, to use uh, view bag same this one uh, it passes back to you and same if you want change to any other uh, chart let's say chart gallery you can't change or use any one of them just you need to study it or to know what data you should send this one different I think should be where is the code and how to send it maybe you can find something down here uh, there is too many you can use of use them 
just need to know the format I think and change uh, change here let's say where is it you can put here a uh, bar but not send this data here how you send it because here you send only just two uh, two uh, columns only there maybe you need I go to this one and you just see a code example or let me code and that row here row uh, you can check it you and you see how to just just you you as a C sharp developer or uh, ASP.NET MVC just you need this code here you care about this one what you should put here and put it in your view bag or in your Ajax uh, code how to send it maybe here you can put three lines four lines five lines depend on your matrix here how to send it there uh, that's it but I need to just show you what this here uh, you can look more in Google and you can see what's the difference here look here you can change too many properties mm. Just that here, maybe something. Uh, look here, this one two different. For you, just two columns, one plus string and one one of them number. But here different, cause it's which one this one different things. Uh, combo chart. This need more parameters, more data. Uh, I think it's this one uh, should be first row. You can uh, manage it from your. Uh, C sharp code or from your HTML code simple. After that, you need to create matrix with all this data. You can get them from anywhere from your SQL, from XML, from anywhere. Uh, that's it. I will try to post the simple code on my blog and on YouTube channel. Thank you and bye bye.